I'm Monica Ricks in New York. President Biden made a new agreement with South Korea today that'll send nuclear submarines there for the first time in 40 years. But now he's combating questions about his age and whether he's too old to run for president again next year. I can't even say the number. It doesn't, it doesn't register with me. And, uh, but the only thing I can say is that um, one of the things that people are going to find out, they're going to see a race, and they're going to judge whether or not I have to done that. If he wins re-election, he'd be 86 by the end of his second term. And he's got more competition. Today, I am announcing that I am a candidate for President of the United States. Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson threw his hat in the ring as a Republican contender for 2024. He says he's ready to bring back common-sense conservative principles. Some senators want to keep kids off social media. They're too young to see a rated R movie. They're too young to be exposed to much of the content that is on social media and manipulating what they think, what they feel about themselves and others. Arkansas Republican Tom Cotton says they are considering a measure that would require a minimum age verification of 13 for platforms like TikTok and parental consent for anyone under 17. A transgender lawmaker is now fighting expulsion in Montana for blasting a bill banning gender-affirming care for children. Here's CBS's Meg Oliver. We're elected to have the hard conversations. Zephyr says she's not apologizing for what she said, and in fact, she would say it again. When marginalized communities, communities who are impacted the most by legislation, rise up and speak to the harm. Those folks in power, particularly on the far right, do not want to be held accountable. It's the second time in about a month a lawmaker faces expulsion for rallying around a cause. The Tennessee Three still want stronger gun laws. Big changes happening today at the Vatican, where the Pope is giving women voting power at this year's Synod of Bishops. They vote on proposals regarding the Catholic Church. Women are still banned from becoming priests or holding any major Vatican positions. The gold rush is on in California. Here's CBS's Allison Keith. There's $750 worth of gold right here. That's metal detector expert Mark Dayton shaking a bowl and rattling the gold nuggets in it. He says in this historic gold country, the intense winter storms eroded rock from waterways, and it comes down really fast. It hits the banks and washes fresh dirt right off the bank and liberates new fresh deposits of gold right into the water. They're finding more of it now as a heat wave melts off snow. Triple digits could hit through the weekend. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.